I'm Carolyn Steele and I am a London based architect uh, and I'm born and bred in London actually so I feel very much a Londoner um, and I'm the author of uh, two books called Hungry City and Cytopia um, and Cytopia means food place. Uh, so I'm really an architect who writes about how the world is shaped by food in essence um, and that's what I wrote about in the wonderful book about the future of London and I was I mean my, my whole thesis really is that cities are shaped by food and you know cities have co-evolved with through the problem of you know tr trying to solve the problem of how to, to feed a city so that's very much the basis of urban civilization. So I looked at the history of London through the lens of food, which is, is very powerful. And the reason I did that is because um, through the history, you can really see the future, which is obviously, you know, to a certain extent, what the original Future of London book was about. So of course, London is on a river, so this made it very easy for it to import food. You know, if you look at the, the names of the streets in London, you can see Bread Street, Fish Street, Cornhill, Cow Street, you know. There are so many food related names in London, so that tells you this is very much a city that's grown up around you know, bountiful food actually. So I love that aspect of London and um, of course, you know, in the modern era, you know, the food for London has not just come in, you know, swept in on wagon loads sort of coming up to Borough Market or cows moving in and, you know, into Smithfield and so on. It's much more sort of become a global phenomenon. Um, and so I, I guess, you know, the, 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 what I wrote about in my piece was the question about London's future is in a way, you know, we, we've got obviously a huge, you know, spectrum of ways we could go. But I think there are two extremes to that spectrum. And I think the first extreme is to go down the, the, the very much, you know, food as a commodity, food as cheap, food as industrial, food as something that just comes from somewhere else and we don't think about it. And I think this would be catastrophic, and I argue why I think it would be catastrophic. Um, and I'll explain that in a, in a little second. Um, but the other option is that we go very much more towards actually some of the vision that was in the original London of the Future book, which is about we bring, we start to value food more, we bring food growing back into the city. You know, whether every rooftop would be covered in a farm, I don't know. But, you know, there's this huge potential for, for growing food in and around London. And, of course, reconnecting London to its green belt as an actual food producing district, which was the original intention, the green belt in any case. So, and, and this to me, and, and what I argue basically is that this, this sort of London rediscovering the value of food and, and, and reinventing itself around food being a, a precious thing that can be grown locally as well as globally and but the, that you have to pay a fair price for would be in a way London's opportunity to rediscover its soul because even though London's always been an international city the life of the city the public life was always in the taverns and the pubs and the markets and so on and I think in our sort of increasingly globalized you know technological age especially with AI coming around the corner this rediscovery what it means to live in a place and to share, you know, what is local with what is global um, is, is very much what we're going to have to embrace if we're going to have, you know, if we're going to live good lives, good low carbon lives in the future. And I think food absolutely can and must be central to that. So I have this word, um, Cytopia, as I briefly mentioned in the, at the beginning, which just means food place. It's from the Greek word sitos for food and topos for place. And I was arguing that I want London to become a good Cytopia. And a good Cytopia is just a place, a food place. I mean, the world is a food place. We live in a world shaped by food. But I want London to become a good Cytopia, which is a place where people celebrate food, but also value it and realize that, you know, valuing the people who feed us, namely farmers, food producers, and, and all the rest of it, the people who bring the food to the city are actually the most important people in, in civilization. So that's the basic idea.